Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Fully Informed Trade, or Fi Trade for short, knowledge for everyone. My name is Alex Cho, and today I'm just going to go ahead and review stocks, commodities, uh, the currency markets, and also review the bonds. Alright, so without any delay, let's go ahead and review these commodities. Dollar index continues its longwards upwards rally off of its lows. Um, it has had a pretty decent pullback. If you guys go ahead and look at the Euro US dollar, you see a quick bounce. Nothing too per not, nothing too major. Let's go ahead and look at the US dollar index, examine it a little closer. Um, one reason US dollar index has gone up so much is crude oil prices. They have gone up. Oh no, not gone up, but they've gone down. That stems inflation, make, implying that the US dollar should gain some strength on that. And also, um, Federal Open Market Committee, the FOMC, they're having disagreements. Disagreements mean that basically the, they're either going to end permanent open market operations sooner or they're going to do a rate hike. Either of the two or even both. Early. And early is good for the US dollar in terms of going up, bad for equity markets and bad for gold and silver along with bad for gold <laughs> and that's also bad for the crude oil. Good for the bond market. Um, well no, actually that's bad for the bond market as well because if the government if you know if, the, if <laughs> Well, no, that's kind of mixed, you know. It's, I, I'm neutral on the bond market, actually. Um, and right now, you know, U.S. dollar index is again trading, you know, pretty strong throughout the day. Uh, Dow Jones, you know, have traded flat to negative. S&P 500 immediately traded negative, and um, you know, it, it was it wasn't that bad of a day. I mean, S&P 500 was negative 0.28 percent. Nasdaq was negative 0.32 percent. And um, another thing is, is that I'm going to go ahead and review the E-minis, talk about the S&P 500, you know, index real quick. And again, I'm really negative. I, I'm not too positive on tomorrow's trading session. I think, you know, the S&P 500 is going to continue this downwards momentum. If you guys look right here, even after 4 p.m. after the, you know, typical New York Stock Exchange close, between 4 p.m. until, you know, 11 or 12 a.m. in the morning, Markets had a continued sell-off. That's pretty bad. That's not good for the markets at all. Asia has had a very, very negative day. They're down by 1.5% across the board. So again, can't be too positive on stocks. S&P 500 has had a pretty bad fall already. You know, the S&P 500 futures at least. They've already reacted to the Asian markets. And again, when crude oil has a pretty major fall in price, Oh, what basically happens is that um, um, crude oil stocks like you know Chevron, Exxon Mobil, <laughs> British Petroleum, stuff like that, uh, Marathon Oil, companies like that tend to fall. And they tend to fall rapidly in price. That in turn makes the S&P 500 and, and the Dow have a pretty bad day. And you know, again, you could you know you, you know the rest of the story. If indexes fall, people like to sell the rest of their portfolio as well. Also. Looking back, let's review the Chinese, you know, the Chinese yuan. Chinese yuan is um, basically falling, uh, you know, the Chinese yuan is gaining a lot of strength these days, which implies U.S. inflation. That means the Federal Reserve has to act that much more quickly. It also means Chinese deflation, which means the growth out of China will slow. Another thing means, and also, there's also two other things that are going on. A lot of capital inflows into China, basically a lot of investors Chinese, you know, following the Chinese growth story, and the Chinese government inflating, you know, doing inflation management. And what I mean by capital inflows is that whenever you convert your current currency into a different currency, that makes that currency, the, the currency you convert into, that much stronger. Um, and right now, Chinese yuan is getting a lot of strength. The U.S. dollar is getting a lot of weakness. Chinese central bank manipulation does go into this. Remember, they're trying to reduce inflation. Why are they doing this? Very simple. The people who want to stay in power need to have the support of the people. The people hate inflation. How do you stop inflation? You basically improve the strength of the Chinese yuan so that it fetches less. So you know, what it means is that you, you, you basically pay less for imports. Now when you sell stuff, 
it also means that you get to sell it for more expensive. And uh, you know, the, I'm guessing the Chinese government feels that since they have all the production facilities, there is no need to keep the Chinese on weak for much longer. Um, they they should they should already let it strengthen, do whatever they can to reduce inflation, reduce the damage to the Chinese consumer. Therefore, making the Chinese consumer that much stronger, imports that much cheaper for them, exports uh, fetch a higher price. Overall, Chinese are pretty happy. And again, <laughs> either way. Whether the Chinese yuan was strong or weak, we're still getting, we're still getting, you know, it's still beneficial for them either way. They played their cards just right, and again, you know, that's what happens when you got some really smart policymakers. As for the euro US dollar, you're seeing a quick bounce in the afternoon session, not much, not too major, but again, I look into this and I say, hey, you know, you're probably going to get a bounce here or there on, you know, on a long, on a downtrend. But a downtrend is still a downtrend. I don't like downtrends. I'm not too positive on downtrend, downtrends. And I have to say, when I'm looking at a euro dollar, you know, euro US dollar downtrend, I have to say, you know, I'm I'm looking for support down at 1.425 and the 1.40 area. That's basically where I'm looking for support. Basically, 200 to 200 to 400 pip pullback. Um, and the main reason being is that a lot of euro investors are anticipating the U.S. government or the U.S. Federal Reserve to start raising their interest rates and to end permanent open market operations. And if you do, and if you see that sudden sell off, but for right now markets are reacting in advance, and markets tend to act in re in advance before the news ever hits. All right, that's just how markets usually work. Next, Treasury bonds. Treasury bonds are getting a pretty decent bounce. And if you guys look, dollar index generally gets. You know, whenever you see the dollar index get a bounce, treasury treasury markets do like that. The main reason being is that the interest that the federal government has to pay on you know deflation actually goes down, therefore making the treasury bond go up in value, and it also means that the, the treasury bond market moves and are directly correlated to the U.S. dollar. They don't have an inverse correlation; they have a correlation to one another. All right. Moving on, let's review the volatility index. Volatility index, we have we have a flag pattern, and I do believe the S, you know the volatility index will have a huge, huge move to the upside tomorrow. And because of that, I anticipate this flag pattern to be broken, and it will most likely go to the upside. So I anticipate higher prices for the volatility index, and I do anticipate a retest of the twenty-nine thirty dollar area. Okay, all right, that does it for me for today. I hope that helps you out guys. If you guys have any questions, please be sure to leave a comment right below this video. If you guys are um, you know, if you guys if you guys um, want to use the same trading software I use, check out the link right below this video. And also, um, you know, be you know, if you know me on Facebook, feel free to private message me any ideas, anything you want to ask. I'm always available if you're on Twitter. Hopefully you retweet my video. It helps. I like having extra followers. So yeah, you know, take care, and I'll and I'll have more for you in the weeks and months ahead. Take care.